greetings of the day everyone so in this tutorial i'm going to show you guys how to configure or how to set up deployment server so that you can push some data or apps from a deployment server to clients so why we are trying this deployment server is the main reason of solving a problem let's say you have a main mission let's say you have a splunk enterprise installed in one mission and as in a deployment server and then you want the same app to be installed in let's say 100 missions so it would be not very effective to go under the single missions let's say at the 100 missions and manually trying to install the app so with this concept deployment server what we can do is we can deploy we, we can create the app or create or edit the app in the deployment server and push all the apps to the deployment clients so for this video to be done the prerequisites is the video that i've previously done so which is how to configure universal for us deployment client just please do that if you haven't done it please do, i strongly recommend do that if you have done it just get on into the video and check how to deploy deployment server in splunk so all the process that i'm going to do and the code that will be typing in this video will be available in the github repo of mine i will just leave that link in the description of this video so please do check that so let's dive into the video we are in our deployment server so this is the splunk enterprise which i installed in the deployment server instance so i believe you guys have configured universal forwarder as a client so when, once you've done that you're gonna go to settings maybe forward management so you're gonna see one client I believe you guys see one and the universal forwarder instance details here so if this is zero in your case just please I recommend highly to check my previous videos and come back here so once you guys have done this so you can see there is no apps found in the repository so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna create two apps so we're gonna go to our backend of the deployment server and just gonna clear it because this is too messy so we're gonna go cd slash opt slash splunk and then slash etc and then i'm gonna give an ls and there you have to go to cd deployment apps okay okay now we are in so we're just gonna see ls there's nothing so what we're gonna do is gonna create an app let's say Send logs. Another app. Send your say alone. Okay, we have two apps here. Now let's we'll just go back again. Now we're gonna do management. So we have our two apps here. So alone and send logs all those those apps which we have and this is the client so now we're going to go is server classes and we have no server classes we're just going to create one let's just give uh send logs to you have now this is a big one please bear with me i'm just going to save it okay so we have no apps and we have no clients so we're just going to have add an app so i'm just gonna keep it very very simple so i'm just going to do one app so the process is going to be straightforward in all the cases so we'll just select this for now and then save it so this is the app and i'm gonna add a client in our case which is this one so what we're gonna do is we can just gonna copy this host name and see and paste it here which we need to include this so what we're going to do is give a save so if you have multiple apps please do add all the apps which you want so if you can see here one app in server class one client <coughs> one app in and deploy success 100 percent deployed so what we are going to do next is it's going to click edit here in the apps and click edit so we're going to click restart Splunk D and we're just going to save it. 
what we are going to do is as you as you see there is zero downloads here download meaning that it is deployed to the client so what we are going to do now is go into the back end of the deployment server where we have our apps so the, the app that i've specified is send logs so we are going to go into send logs you see we might have a default okay the local the cd local sorry local yes okay so what we're going to do is we're just going to create a we're just going to create a folder called default and then we're going to create a file so to keep it very very simple i'm doing in this way so let's say you have multiple apps and you have some custom apps or the any app that you have installed you don't have to do this you just you can add there and you just deploy it so i am doing a custom app so i'm just going to do some simple purposes so this code will be available in the link in the description so you guys don't have to worry about it so now let's go here and i'm just going to paste it here to monitor the syslog logs which has a source type of syslog I'm just going to save okay it looks good nice we have a comp okay we're going to go cd we're going to cd we're going to go to cd slash opd slash splunk slash bin and then we're going to do dot slash splunk reload deploy server so what we're going to do is we're going to reload the deploy server which is the deployment server so that the effect has been taken in the universal folder just give an enter username which is admin and the password reloading server classes and any so let's just take a look and then if you see here zero downloads zero clients just to give a restart just refresh okay nothing so far eh maps should be deployed maybe it's the refresh screen refreshed okay we got it so download one download so you can see this is our client there is no error that is really great so one client so now we can go and check in the client side of this so we have this is where this is our client which is a universal forwarder so what we are going to go is do is go back cd opt i believe etc etc yes now cd apps to ls you can see that the app is been successfully deployed we go send apps send logs and we must be able to see the default and the local folder exactly so now we go default we must be able to see i believe you guys guessed inputs.conf then you guys can view it touch sorry inputs dot conf you can see this is the code which we have specified to monitor in our deployment server which has been forwarded so the app has been successfully pushed to the clients so this is a view push apps from a deployment server to clients in splunk and catch you in another one guys take care bye bye everyone